What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and I don't think there's a channel online that's been covering this fast food insanity as deeply and as uh, aggressively as I have, and I hope you're enjoying the coverage because it's been a very predictable set of circumstances. So many fast food restaurants were forced to raise everybody's salary that worked for them to a minimum of $20 an hour, a $4 an hour raise over the previous minimum. Many people thought, holy smokes, $20 an hour to flip burgers, that seems pretty good. I also want to point out, look, if you're an employee at this place, not your fault. Make your money. If the government wants to impose these minimum wage laws that pays you more money to flip burgers or to work at McDonald's, I got no beef with you. You shouldn't feel bad about it. You shouldn't feel ashamed about it. Make your money, okay? Now, the downstream of that is that the $18 Big Mac, right? It's the $20 extra value meal. It's a quarter pounder with cheese meal at McDonald's costing $15. And so what happens then downstream from that is customers are now choosing to eat from home more often than ever because you could cook a really good steak for about 15 bucks or you can get a quarter pounder with cheese of mystery meat from McDonald's. The choice is very easy to make. Well, now fast food workers just after just minutes after getting this last massive raise are now demanding yet another raise. I'm not kidding. And we're going to get into that after a super quick word from this video sponsor, Private Internet Access. Shout out to this video sponsor, Private Internet Access. Look, it's 2024. If you aren't using a VPN yet, you're completely missing out. And Private Internet Access is the one I use on all of my devices. If you've been following the news, you see that censorship, websites, apps are getting shut down in certain countries, all sorts of craziness. Well, a VPN helps you never have to worry about that. Private Internet Access also protects you from the prying eyes of hackers, internet service providers, and others that can view your personal data. Perhaps also just as importantly, Private Internet Access allows you to access region-restricted content from all over the world. Streaming services like Netflix, Amazon Prime, and more have different library options based on where you're located, and some shows simply cannot be accessed if you're not in the target location. Happens to me all the time. Many sports events also have regional blackouts. Well, VPNs can be a convenient way to make sure you're getting the content that you're paying for. Private internet access also allows you to protect an unlimited amount of devices all at the same time, so your entire household with a single subscription. And I've been working with private internet access so long that I have an absolutely massive discount available to my viewers Link in the description below. Get private internet access today using my link. Save huge, protect your computers, access all the content that you've been paying for, and ensure that your internet is never censored. California fast food workers demanded even more pay. Fast food workers in California are seeking another pay increase just months after the states implemented a controversial law, raising the minimum wage for the industry to $20. After its implementation in April, Eateries reduced hours, shut down establishments, and raised menu prices. So, like I've said, companies are going to company. They're not going to make less money, okay? It's just not going to happen. And uh, so what do they do? They pass it on to the consumer. They pass it on to you. And we've already talked about what happens. Then managers at restaurants. So instead of having five people working during the lunch rush, they have three and guess what happens when you're a customer? Longer wait times, worse service, angry customers. The angry. This is just a very predictable slow collapse. We've already seen something like 10,000 workers laid off the last time they got a raise. And the workers that were left were getting less hours. So at the end of the week, they were actually taking home less pay. Any moron could have seen this coming. Not the communists, not the socialists, not the Kamala Harris's of, of the world out there. They think... Government just raising the minimum wage is just going to make companies want to make less money, especially publicly traded ones. When the reality is they do not uh, make less money and they don't make uh, and they don't help anybody. They just raise the prices, screw up the customers and screw and cut hours of the staff and screw them over or they fire them all together. After its implementation in April, again, it's April this year. So now it's August. Eateries, of course, reduced hours, shut down establishments, and raised menu prices. Any moron saw that coming. On Wednesday, 
the California Fast Food Workers Union, part of the Service Employees Union, demanded yet another increase of 70 cents an hour by January. So the $20 an hour wasn't enough. And now they're giving, they have a deadline of four months to give them another raise. I, I don't even understand. Like, look, again, go ahead. You slay queen. You go do your thing. You do, you know, you, you go ahead and, and request your raise, but don't come crying to me when you get laid off or when your restaurant closes your location because they can no longer be profitable in it. Quote, as California's fast food industry grows, cooks and cashiers are doubling down on their fight across the state to win, win safe and healthy stores, stable hours, that pays to keep up with inflation and training to understand their rights on the job. This uh, CAFFWU became the first ever statewide fast food workers union when it was established in February. When it was founded, the group declared it was hitting the ground running with three core priorities, more money, more protections against, quote, unfair firings, and ensuring better schedules. Dude, this is, this is just going to destroy the fast food industry. That's what's going to happen. And in, in particular, by the way, it's not just in California that this is happening. Basically, most of your far lefty leaning states. So you're going to have Portland, Oregon, you know, Seattle and Washington, California, I assume New York, um, you know, a lot of these states, it's, they're just going to run fast food out of business. That, that's what's going to happen. According to KTLA, increased job stability, fair payment was owed back pay and stable schedules. They want, they want what? They want to not lose their hours? Well, maybe you shouldn't be demanding $21 an hour to flip burgers because what's going to happen when you get that raise is you're going to lose hours. That's what happens. The group formed <clears throat> well after Governor Newsom signed the legislation into law in September, effectively boosting the minimum wage for restaurants that had at least 60 locations nationwide, except for those that sell their own bread, for whatever reason, from $16 to $20. This equates to a salary of $41,600 a year. The median fast food worker in the U.S. earned $13.50 an hour in 2022, while in California they made $16.60. In addition to the pay raises, the legislation also established a fast food council. By the way, all your union dues, <laughs> you make 70 cents more an hour, but guess what your union dues are going to be? A dollar an hour. Newsom signed into legislation this law in September saying that California is home to more than half a million fast food workers and we want to get them more money. After it took effect in April, restaurants simply increased their prices, cut employee hours. According to a recent report from the Employment Policies Institute, 98% of restaurants surveyed said they've already raised the cost of menu items and 93% plan to do so next year. According to the EPI, additionally, 89% reported already reducing the number of employees hours and 87% plan to do the exact same next year. I, I, I just, I don't really understand it. You know, I don't understand how you could be this much of a silly goose. Like, I don't understand how you could possibly, uh, you know, think that this, <laughs> you know, this is, I don't know how you could think this wasn't going to play out like this. I mean, who is giving these people this advice? California Fast Food Union now asking for even more money. Again, we're talking about three months after they just got a $8,000 a year raise. Three months ago, they got an $8,000 a year raise. Now they want another $2,000. So effectively, they're asking the government. Now the union is now asking for the minimum wage to be raised to $20.70 from the beginning of next year to keep up with the cost of living. This is where socialism fails. Okay, Capitalism if, if you want $20 an hour, then don't take the job for $13 an hour. The problem is, here's what happens. You didn't do, you weren't worth $20 an hour. It, it's so wild to me. You know what I mean? Like after 140 years, Chevron is moving to Texas due to Newsom's hostile climate. 
who's next in line. Well, we just saw Twitter and X leave with its several thousand employees. Hear us out urgently. Fast food workers demand state for another wage increase just three months after. By the way, by 2025, they want it to be $21.40. So by 2025, fast food workers want to be making, uh, let's see if they work an average of 40 hours a week, you know, 52 weeks out of the year, they want to be making $45,000 a year. Look, again, hey, I got no beef with you if you're an employee and you want to make your money. That's fine. Uh, but don't come crying to me when they close your location or when customers finally say, yo, I'm not paying $25 for a extra value meal. I'll just stay home and cook a brand new fresh cut ribeye steak because that's what you pay for a really high quality ribeye steak where I live is about 20 bucks, 20 to 25 bucks. And I'm talking a nice steak, throw it on the grill, two and a half minutes, one side, turn it two and a half minutes, flip it two and a half, two and a half, throw a pat of butter on that thing, throw it on a plate to rest and have the best steak of your life for 25 bucks. Or you can eat McDonald's. What do you think people are going to choose? I mean, I'm all for it. The, f the quicker people can figure out that this nonsense doesn't work, the better for everyone else out there. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe or follow down below and we'll talk to you again real soon.